Months of debate finally ended this morning with Governor Evers signing the state budget into law at his Capitol office, but it is not without some changes. The governor wielding his powerful veto pen more than 50 times throughout the budget. Political reporter Will Keneally has more on the final details of this state budget. He's live at the Capitol. Will? Eric, over the last two days, we've been looking at tracking the impact that the massive $3.5 billion income tax cut would have on Wisconsinites. But the catch, the governor vetoed a significant portion of that in his office this morning, leaving in place the tax cut for only the first two income brackets. I'm doing what I can to ensure that tax relief goes to working families who need help affording rising costs not the wealthiest taxpayers in Wisconsin. The Republican authored tax cut wasn't targeted enough for Governor Evers, who struck out most of it through vetoes this morning. Evers wanted to cut taxes for anyone in Wisconsin making less than $100,000, but settled on this. The midpoint for Wisconsin's income tax bracket is around $27,000. He kept taxes the same for everyone above that mark and cut taxes for everyone below. It's my belief that um, the middle class in the state of Wisconsin is where we should be supporting uh, those cuts in the, the, in the most efficient way possible. Evers had to make his vetoes by each bracket, and Wisconsin's third bracket is large, including anyone making between twenty-seven dollars and $304,000 each year. Under the Republican plan that Evers gutted, the average tax cut was about $573. But you needed to earn more than $100,000 annually to see that kind of cut. Democrats argued that favored the wealthy. But Republicans say the governor's vetoes keep taxes higher on the middle class. I mean, really 95% of the income tax cut was vetoed by the governor. Um, that includes a huge middle class tax cut. You know, something that he campaigned on last cycle and said he wanted to do and then really you know, didn't do it when it was put in front of him. So that's pretty disappointing. We'd rather send it back to them. And so, you know, we'll look for ways, I think, this fall when the legislature returns to session to try to do um, more tax cuts. And Republicans say they are not going to stop pushing to return that money back to taxpayers. So let me also give you one more number to think about when we look at this uh, whole tax cut here. Uh, earlier this year, we were talking about uh, the state budget surplus, essentially like couch cushion money that Wisconsin had extra. Now that figure was a historic $7 billion. Now the Republican authors of the state budget this cycle, this next two year term here, they got that down to 600 million. But with the governor's cuts this morning, that number is back up now to 3 billion, roughly according to the governor's office. So there's going to be a lot more money to fight over here in the state capitol. And of course, there's a lot we didn't get to with these budget vetoes. We'll have a full story up online at channel3000.com. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Will, thank you. The governor getting creative in his partial veto powers today as well. He found a way to strike out the hyphen and the 2-0, two 2-0 zero, two zero from a reference to the 2024 through 2025 school year. So by doing that, he got hundreds of dollars for students every year to last for more than 400 years, all the way until the year 2425. We'll explain how online at channel3000.com. You can read more on what's in the budget. Download our Channel 3000 news app. Look for the story on channel3000.com.